The last ever update for Marvel's Avengers may have just happened and you may have not even been aware of it. And I say you, but I mean me and every single person who still has this game downloaded and who still is interested in this game. This might be the final piece of content in the series we are ever going to get. And let me explain why, because our trustworthy source Miller has taken to the stage again, but this time not necessarily on Twitter, but on a podcast. Now, the big whole title on this whole I guess speculation and theory is that Marvel's Avengers has a very grim future and of course we were meant to be getting another hero after this Winter Soldier being She-Hulk but that has now possibly been delayed over an issue with the budget on the game which is super weird because a video that I released earlier today I did say well you know it is interesting that the game hasn't had the plug pulled yet and you know this new DLC looks fantastic and it seems like the game must be thriving on people buying content cosmetics in the game because that's solely the only thing that is going to be able to drive of course the company to still pump money into this game now what's interesting is that miller did go on a podcast if you're not familiar with who miller is he is a very very big individual in the community who has basically given us all the information that we possibly have ever needed from prior to the game releasing to the game releasing and actually just doing the jobs of what the avengers team or people are meant to be doing per se so it's really interesting to hear this come from him and one of the key things that he mentioned and I quote I got to tell you I'm not sure if we ever will now what he's talking about here is whether or not we are ever going to see an influx of new players he says there's only so much that I can say I've had a conversation in the last couple of weeks that paint a rather grim picture of the future a few months ago, I was saying that I don't think we're going to make it to the 4.0 update series. I just really don't see it. I mean, that's over a year away and we still have the whole 3.0 update series to get through. And that's that. In a nutshell, it just makes sense with the games coming out next year. As I mentioned the other day as well, if you saw that video, I mentioned that the only reason, well, two of the reasons why this game is still going is A because people are buying the cosmetics and they're still releasing the odd DLC here and there. And B, technically, it's the only Marvel game out right now in terms of the newest Marvel game that is still getting new content and, as I say, can be enjoyable when you're not playing it every single day. Other than that, until another Marvel game comes out and takes that spotlight, this game will still remain and be a thing. So actually getting through this final update, being the 3.0 update series as a whole, and not getting to the 4.0 series, which again, as uh, Eva Miller said, is going to be a year away, it makes complete sense because by the time we get there, we're going to have games like Marvel Spider-Man 2, there's going to be a bunch of games that are going to have more information, likely like the Iron Man game, the Wolverine game, so as far as that whole superhero video games go in terms of release dates etc it's probably going to be a very 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 I, I guess you could say a big year in terms of new games as a whole coming to of course your consoles so where does that leave us well realistically it leaves us exactly what Miller has said and more or less what I agree with where this is practically the final updates that we are going to get for this game so we will likely see She-Hulk Miller did actually mention that he thinks they're just randomly going to add her in at some point where again we can't exactly predict but we know that the character is simply going to be there we know that voice acting has already gone ahead basically the final product is more or less there so for them to just completely exit um you know technically it wouldn't make sense but if there are budgeting issues which also do make sense then that explains why that delay has happened so i guess we're gonna have to see how this dlc with winter soldier pans out but let's be completely honest yes as i even say it looks like a fantastic dlc and it's really really good like i'm genuinely hyped to play this dlc in a couple of days but i'm just one of many people right what we need is an influx of players which is just simply unlikely to happen and that's the very strange position that this game has been put in can it ever ever be redeemed look it's going to be one of those things where we had DLCs like the Spider-Man DLC, we had the Black Panther DLC, and those were the two big DLCs that we were really banking on. And 
I think the way this game will remain, and again, I'm just talking from a fan perspective and somebody that genuinely does enjoy the game. I don't play it anywhere near as much as I did, but when I boot the game up, I still genuinely enjoy it. As I say, with the new DLC, I'm very, very excited to see that. I think it looks very good. I know everyone has their opinions, but from my perspective, I really think they did a good job. Like it's something that I just felt wasn't marketed correctly. So for me, I'm very excited to see that, but I think that's the way the game's going to remain. I think it's just going to be very much there for a selected, uh, you know, amount of people that just still want to jump in on the game and play it from time to time. But of course, if the game doesn't continue to get updated, will you ever return to the game and play it? Well, if you were starting the game from scratch and you haven't been a part of the process in terms of like from the first DLC right until this new DLC that we got, then I guess it's going to be a very, very fun game. Like if you were to boot it out from scratch right now, reset absolutely everything, yes, it will be a ton of fun because with all the DLC characters that have been released, with all the individual stories and, and of course upgrading the characters, etc, etc, it can be a very, very fun process. But as I say, if you've been a part of the process since when the game released and you've been going DLC by DLC, then it kind of feels like we've been stagnant, right? So we get DLC, it's been great, then it goes dry, then it's great again, etc, etc. But I just genuinely think, right, once the final, final update is here and we basically get to the end of the 3.0 series, then yes, it's going to be one of those games that will remain either lo downloaded on your console if you have the disc version, it'll, it'll be there, collect a bit of dust, and then eventually you'll just boot the game back up. Um, you know, it's, it's like games like uh, Marvel Spider-Man, right, on the PlayStation 4 and PlayStation 5. Like, that's a genuinely really, really good game. Once you finish it, do you really have anything else to do? No, what happens? It sits there for a while. Then you randomly decide to just restart it and play through the entire thing again from time to time. So, yes, that's how that, that this game is going to work. But the sad part is, you know, if it's still got updates, which I genuinely hope it does, but it's very, very unlikely, then, you know, that would be great. But... It's one of those games that will always be there in history where we say it had the potential to be something great. And the only thing that I could say right now is that if there's any other company that has, well, more than likely been watching this process in the sense of how Marvel's Avengers had so much excitement from, of course, the initial announcement of the trailer, the teasers, etc., then everyone, as far as like a big game company, knows that it could be something big. It's just whatever company decides in the next couple of years to potentially take on a Marvel's Avengers game or any Marvel game for that uh, matter that's not going to be Insomniac games, then hopefully they can take a leaf out of this, you know, games book and see what not to do. And I think one of the key things that we know is microtransactions and, and all of that stuff. Like, that's a big thing, right? Um, so hopefully that, you know, we do one day get the Marvel game, well, Marvel's Avengers game that we've also really wanted because this game was almost there. And unfortunately, it's like it had it, ch it basically had its chance and then players just gave up eventually. And now there's a remaining few of us that now just still watch the process and hope that, of course, magically there could be an influx of players. But hey, it is what it is. It's going to be interesting to see how this pans out with the new DLC. And in an ideal world, I've always said this, but in an ideal world, if Insomniac Games had made this Marvel's Avengers, like an open world video game especially, it could have been the biggest Marvel game ever. So hey, here's to hoping that one day that may well be the case. Leave your thoughts on this in the comments below. On the topic of Spider-Man and Insomniac Games, there was some very interesting news where a lot of people feel like they're being lied to. So check that video out on screen if you haven't already.